Who's she? Have you heard tell anyone's taking pickers, girl? No. She's their side at war. It's ten past. Go and hurry, Mum Jo. She's coming. No sign of him, then. You should know better than expect him. Ah. But he ought to be here for his dad's funeral. In you go, Grandad. Take it slow. I don't want Jacob bumped about on his last drive. Here he goes, then. Aye. It's the end of him. You were a good man. In his way. I think they'll say same when you go. Happen not, but I'll be past caring then, I reckon. Aren't you going to bury you? I think I should, do you? Is they dad? Aye, is that? Oh, well, there's no point holding grudges against dead. I have no grudge against him. Tim, Do you remember me?
Oh, hello. They've all gone to the funeral, if you don't know. I do, as a matter of fact. I just wondered. Been giving the place a real going over, haven't you? It's my home. Where's yours? In a day or two, it'll be Inglebrook. Father's just bought it. Oh. One of the money class. That's right. And all from reprocessing ascorlabric acids. Makes you think. If this is your home, why can't you get in? I was watching you. Prodigals aren't usually trusted with keys. Even if they have time to collect one before going out to prodigalize. Will they be killing the fatted calf for you? Where does your father work at his acids? Bradford. But we've been living in Hotton. Do you work at anything? Well, good luck. He's no right to anything. No right at all. That's your opinion. Well, what are you going to do about him, then? Tell me that. It's more what he wants to do. We'll have to find that out first. Will he have gone home, do you think? Well, if he has, it'll do him no harm to wait. We've had to wait for him long enough. I'm puzzled why he didn't come to the burial. He never bothered about Dad alive, so why should he dead? He's not been as good a son as he ought. I'll give you that. You've got no option to do otherwise. Happen not. But I can still fetch you one, married though you are. So watch your tongue. Whatever rights and wrongs of case, I'm having no family squabbles today. Understand? Jack's my son. I can handle him. And the rest of family. If you've done, I'll get back. It's been a sad day for you then, Annie. Jacob and me had 30 good years together. I can't grumble. Ah, but he weren't an old man. I was sorry to see him go. Aye, as I say, what about your best customer? I was wondering where you'd got to. There's a farm back there. Aye. Grand view, that. What are you going to do with all this? Do with it? Nothing. Just live with it. A view like that's worth a few pounds of any man's money. That's what I've worked for. You know, I've half a mind to do without a telephone. And I'd be really away from it. People live at the farmhouse. They won't worry us. Besides, we've a right of way through. Through the house? Now, don't be saucy. I'll cross their land two hours. Now, come on, get him away. The name's Wilkes, eh, Moss says. Doesn't tell us much. Just thought you'd like to know. I'm more interested in what Jack's got to. Too much shame to show his face, I bet. He always had too much cheek for that. Always went his own way, in spite of anything or anybody. Or anybody's feelings, either. Never did you harm. I'm talking at family. Look at the number of times we've been in village these last years and never even bothered to look in and see you or Dad. Aye, I gave you that. That's not right in a son. Not even to a funeral. Now he's got farm. Dad should never have made that will. I will not. But he did. And we have to make the best we can of it. Hello, Joe. Remember me, do you? Jack, isn't it? You've shot up, haven't you? We expected you at the funeral. I was there, but... In the background. I don't like funerals. You coming in? I'd better, I suppose. Joe, did Dad have a tough time of it? No, it was quick. Well, that's something. How's Mum taking it? You'd best judge that for yourself. Nick. 
So you've come home. Hi, Ma. That's it. Get this in a chair. Tea's on table. Been Joe and me, we'd never have heard last of it. But him, not a word does she say to him, not a cross word. Oh. You'd think he'd just been down the lane to see if gate was shut instead of not showing his nose in place for near enough eight years. What's going to happen to us? That's what I want to know. Do you reckon he'll stay? <laughs> oh, what do you think? Oh, something's got to be said to him. Mum's not going to have a go, it's up to us. After all, it's our living, such as it is. There's no right to farm. He's put nout into it. Suppose he sells the place. Could he do that? Could he? Well, if it is, he can. Dad must have been out of his mind. <sighs> Something's got to be done. It's near midnight and milking's at six. I'm sorry. I do go on a bit sometimes. Right, love. Oh, you forgot something. Comfortable, are you? The floor might be harder. You can try it if you like. No charge. See, someone's been throwing paint about a bit. Not before time. Matt did most of it. With Joe trying to help. And your dad going on about the cost of paint. Never thought about Peggy being married. It's what women do. Are you married? Me? Ah, you. There's no man so big a fool. Some woman won't take him. <laughs> How's Matt fit into that? I'm asking about you. Are you married? Of course not. So you know why? Have you got someone in mind or something? And no money? I'll get by, don't fret. I'm not. But how long are you thinking of stay? Don't you want to get rid of me? It's a matter of making arrangements. And I'll stay a bit if you don't mind. We can get another bed in Dad's room. It'll be a bit tight, but you'll have to put up with that. I'll be all right here. It's living room, not bedroom. One night I don't mind, but I'm not having you cluttering it up regularly. Don't worry. We'll fix something up. I'm not worried. That's good. Because I have a thing or two to put you to rights about. I could have said a lot before family earlier, but I prefer to keep it between parties concerned. Just keep your tongue quiet and I've done. You walked out on your dad, just when he needed help. And apart from a letter now and again, I've had sight and a sign of you. Well, past, past, and your dad's dead. But whatever kind of a mess you've made of your life outside, I'm not so unnatural a mother, I can refuse you food and shelter. If you want to stay home, you're welcome. Thanks. But it's my farm now, isn't it? Right. But it's a hard living here. And what we eat, we work for. Milking's at six. I'll give you a call. <coughs> Morning. Oh, hello. Lovely, isn't it? Uh, were you wanting something? No, I just... Do you live here? Uh, that's right. Ah. How's the astrolabic acids? I didn't realise you worked on the farm. I don't. I get in the way. 
Right, Joe? Well, any pair of hands are useful on the farm. He's a good lad, Joe. Gentle. Well, if we're going to be neighbours, we'd better get introduced. Jack Sugden, brother Joe. Uh, Marion Wilkes. Wilkes. Wilkes and Fisher. That your dad's firm? Do you know them? Didn't they kill all the fish in the tenet? It was an accident. I'm sure. Nobody drops a couple of hundred thousand gallons of poison into a river deliberately. Unless, of course, it's the cheapest way of getting rid of it. Well, that weren't very nice. I thought you were the big animal lover. Well, I do like animals. But, but what? Don't fish count? Of course. But she didn't do it. She lives off it. In my book, that's living off immoral earnings. You should have asked him what he's been up to. We have a right to know. Well, tell us. It's all in good time. Like as not to be gone at weekend without so much supply. Matt said he was blowing like us looking out for cows. A man like that's no good for working farm. You've got the right needle to him, haven't you? He could sell place over our heads. What should we do then? Mrs. Sugden? My name's Wilkes. I've bought Inglebrook across the fields. I'd like a word with you, please. You best come in. Thank you. That's my daughter, Mrs. Skilbeck. How do you do? I'll get straight to the point, Mrs. Sugden. As the owner of Inglebrook, I've a right of way across your land to my lower meadow. Do you know that? No, I don't. Who says you have? It's in the deeds. Have you brought them with you? No. Well, I haven't. But you... I've lived here over 30 years. There's no one has any rights in this farm but us. And it'll take more than your say so to make me think otherwise. You can inspect the deeds any time you wish. Where are they? At my solicitors. I can make an appointment for you to see them at his office. If you want me to look at anything, you can bring it here. I have no time to waste gallivanting around solicitors' offices. As you wish. I'll be in touch. Just a minute. No one's going to stop you visiting Kate. So what's all the fuss? I simply wish to claim my right of way over your property. There's no need to claim anything. We don't bite people's heads off for walking across fields, as long as they shut gates and do no harm. It's not a question of walking, Mrs. Sugden. The main gate to Inglebrook's on a corner by the main road, and I don't like it. So I propose to have it walled off and use the lower gate on the meadow as the main entrance. You mean you want to drive cars and things through our back way? If that's what you call it, I do. At the moment, it's impossible because it's littered with farm implements. I want them cleared away. But you can go on wanting. And they're not littered, as you call it. They're stored. That's where we keep them. I'm entitled to unimpeded right of way. You'll have to move them, Mrs. Sugden. The law's on my side. Well, I've not taken to him. He'll get no change out of me. Have enough problems. But it's not yours, is it? What, that? It's not your problem. It's owner's. That's your jack. <laughs> There's no saying what he'll do. Fine, Demos. We're staying on the farm, then. Gets around, doesn't it? Oh, folks always like to know what's going on. I bet. That right? You're learning. What's got round about them? Don't know him. She's Wilkes's girl who's taking place next to you. Aye. Well breached, I hear. Oh, aye. There's lots settling round about now. Getting out from Leeds, Bradford way, putting up the price of cottages, no end. Pretty piece. 
Not as I'm interested. I have other things to think of. Like what? A young man's game, that is. I'll take cribbage any day. Well, sir, I don't care when you met him, but why was he all the time? Mind if I join you? Aren't you going to introduce me? Alex Saunders, Jack. Sugden. How do you do? Old Yorkshire name, Sugden. Very old. Mentioned in the Doomsday Book. What's your pedigree? Let's go. Uh, you haven't finished your drink. I'm particularly the right drink. Doesn't look as if you are. As soon as Father knew what was happening, he had the dumping stopped. I'm sure the fish were very grateful, but unfortunately, dead. Didn't get much change there, did you? Early days. <laughs> 